Hi, and welcome to the first in our series of videos on advanced benthic macroinvertebrate identification. In this particular video, we're starting off with the order Plecoptera, or stoneflies. There are nine families native to North America beneath that order. Um, and actually, there's 626 individual species in North America as well. It is quite hard <laughs> to identify them by genus and species, especially without a microscope. And that's why we chose to um, di divide them out into their major families for these videos. So we're gonna show you um, the common uh, families within Pennsylvania. And we actually used a DinoLite basic pluggable digital microscope. This is pretty inexpensive. Um, to zoom in on some of the adaptations and identifiers to help you understand what's what. If you want to delve even deeper to identifying these aquatic nymphs, we highly recommend this book by J. Reese Voschel Jr. I will leave a link to this book, um, this microscope, as well as some other resources on this topic in the description for this video. Without further ado, here is the order Plecoptera, or stoneflies. The name Plecoptera traces back to the Greek plekine, meaning braided, which refers to the large wings of adults that lay in pleats, and terra, meaning wings. The nymph stage for these guys lasts one to three years, actually, depending on species. And like mayflies, they undergo the ENA, egg nymph adult life cycle, which means an incomplete metamorphosis. The nymph's specific characteristics include two tarsal claws at the tip of their segmented legs, two long thin tails, really long antennae, and hair-like gills located on the bottom of the thorax. However, for some species, these gills aren't as visible, which is something to keep in mind. This order includes mostly shredder detritivores and engulfer predator feeders. They have large uh, preferences to coarse substrates in the water, such as riffle habitats, and you might find some species as well on rocky shores or even in spring seep areas. 